Alrighty guys, I've been out here for three days now, and the last two days it's been brutally hot. I've drank all my water. I'm not ready to go home. I knew it was going to rain last night, so what I did was I put three stakes in the ground and I put a trash bag down, hoping to catch some water off the tarp. So now what we're going to do is we're going to process some water. This is a scaled down version of my uh, water kit. It's just my uh, Sawyer Mini Squeeze and a new bag. All right, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take this off, and I'm gonna put it down here in the water, and hopefully I'll get some water in here, and then we'll uh, hook it up to the squeeze, and I will put it in a canteen. And I will back flush this when I go home, but I didn't want to bring all that stuff out here, because I was hoping that I didn't need this, but unfortunately, I do. So, let's process some water. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, let's try this again. Now we screw this into here. Alrighty, so now what we'll do is I'm simply going to tip this upside down. And we'll let the water go on in here. And after a while, I'll actually have some water. One and a few more to go. Be right back. Alright guys, here we go. Bag number two. But yeah, the chances of me drinking the water out of the White Oak River are zero. You could boil it all day long. I still don't think I'd want to drink it. Because up the river there's a rock quarry. And because of the phosphates and the chemicals and the diesel fuel and everything else that goes on in the everyday carrying ons of a rock hole I wouldn't drink that water not unless I was dying but considering this is my backyard basically unless I'm hurt I'll just go home but you know when I was up in the mountains I was filtering the water out of the creek and oh that water was so good pure mountain stream water so today we're trying uh, rain water we'll see how good that is yeah, and I brought out almost two gallons of water, and it just was not nearly enough. It was so hot yesterday. It was almost 80 degrees. Brutal for December. And the day before, it was like 75. So, needless to say, I drank all my water. All right. Be right back with bag number three. Okie dokie guys, bag number three. Now if I was doing this on a daily basis, I probably would strain this water through a bandana first because there is a little bit of leaf litter in here. Not worried about it. The filter's going to catch it. And like I said, when I go home, I'll back flush this thing real good and uh, it'll be just fine. And I must say, this new bag I have seems to be a much higher quality than the Sawyer squeeze bag that came with the Sawyer filter. And this one here, this bag, I got this from River Country Products, of course, right, guys? Uh, they have. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's not a corona cough. That's just an old guy f cough. You know, they have knockoff Sawyer squeezes. And uh, I must say, now this is a Sawyer squeeze, but this is the bag that comes with the River Country Products one. And uh, it actually has a little beaner on it. And the plastic or whatever this is, is a lot stouter. 
than the Sawyer one. But I know the next time I go to the mountains, I have a one gallon Sawyer squeeze bag. And that way I won't have to make 50 million trips to the creek to get water. Alrighty, I'll be right back with what, bag number four? Alrighty guys, bag number five. Check this out. Math class is now in session. Two quart canteen. 16 ounce squeeze bag. No common crud math here guys. 16 ounces is a pint. Two pints is a quart. Two quarts is the size of this canteen. It should take four bags, but it takes five because you never get the last little bit out of the bag, so uh, it's four bags plus. Learn that in the mountains. So yeah, 16 ounce squeeze bag is a pint. Two pints to a quart. And there is two, pint, two pints to a quart, so there's four pints to two quarts. Alrighty, two quarts of rainwater. And we'll do this one next. And this canteen here, guys, is part of my Serbian mess kit. It's like a liter. Fresh rainwater. Run through a Sawyer squeeze. Good stuff. Oh, that tastes good. All right, so there's almost three quarts. Let's go ahead and make it a gallon. Check out this old canteen. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. If the camera picked it up, it said uh, U.S. 1966. That's right, 1966. Still going strong and no funny odors because I take care of it and wash it out as needed. 1966. And just a reminder, when you're doing this, you do not have to put a Gorilla Grip on the bag. Gravity will take care of most of it, but you just got to give it a, a gentle squeeze. And it'll push right through the filter. And if it's not flowing properly, it's because you ain't back flushed the uh, filter in a while. Now, I do not have the big syringe and rubber hose that comes with the kit to back flush it. I'll back flush it when I get to the house. But the normal procedure when you're out in the woods is once you get the water you need, then you take that syringe and you draw some clean water out. You put it in the flow side of the nipple on the filter and you push it through and it flushes out whatever uh, impurities are in the filter. Real simple. Alrighty, that's almost a gallon of water. That's enough to get me home. Alrighty guys, as you can see down there, there's probably two inches of water. There was about six or seven inches of water in that when we started. And it didn't even really rain hard last night. It, it rained probably five or six times, but it was a light sprinkle. I think the longest time it rained was maybe an hour. If it would have rained hard, I imagine that bag could have been filled up. But uh thought I'd share that with you guys. Alrighty guys, now like I said, normally what you would do is you would uh, clean this filter out before you put it up and it's important to put it up dry all I've done for it right now is I've blown through it to blow all the water out of it but I will be back flushing it and letting it dry out when I get to the house and the same with this here bag when I get home I'll set it out and I'll let it dry and I'll probably rinse it out real good but uh, this is one of my base, most basic water kit right here now normally I would have the cleaning syringe in there, and I also would have a small bottle of bleach. And I have this here for straining purposes. And this is my collection device. But like I said, normally there's a little dinky bottle in there. It's like a essential oil type bottle. I can let the bleach out one drip at a time. And then sometimes I might have uh, some water purification tablets in there or whatever but I think between filtering it and boiling it that's plenty good and of course straining it and this is an old M16 A1 uh, military ammo pouch magazine pouch of course
course, now, when I was young, we called them banana clips. But uh, you young guys, you flip the fuck out when people say clip. But anyways, what I did with this was I cut the guts out. So, because uh, there's two dividers in there, so you can drop three magazines in there. Or uh, old school banana clips. And then there was a, a sling and a sling on either side. They were so, so you could put a, a grenade in them, right? So you could carry two grenades and 60 rounds. And now I'm carrying uh, no grenades and water purification. So, and I know the price on this sort of stuff has went up, but uh, I probably paid about two dollars for this a couple years ago. Anyways, and I would bore you with all the facts and specs on a Sawyer squeeze, but if you're going to buy one, you're going to be on a website anyways, and all that will be there. But I do know they they filter out like. 99.9% .9 of viruses and icky stuff. It doesn't do heavy metals, but uh, it does most everything else. So, good backup plan for when you run out of water or you're in an area where the, there ain't no tap water. So, with that being said, I hope you got a little something out of this. Oh, one more thing. I'll be saving this water what's left in here for to put my fire out but that's what it looks like you put three stakes down in a tripod and then you put your trash bag over it rain comes off the tarp into the bag and you filter it so I uh, hope that inspired you to not be scared to uh, process some water when you're camping probably tastes better than your city water <laughs> that being said I'll see you guys later